Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Israel Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about another smart home gadget or an appliance that we've upgraded the previous year in the year 2022. Um, that's an upgrade to our air conditioner units that we currently have in our house. Before I talk about it, I would like to talk about a very very important thing which is um, let's say whenever we buy a new product uh, we as in me, Shipra or Israel, what we do is we research a lot online. Okay, We try and see the videos, we try and see the manuals, we try and see what people have to talk about the, those products. Now, if we look at the videos on YouTube, there are a lot of people who are making these videos. However, the, there's only one issue that I find with those videos. And I mean, it's my view, your views might differ. My view is a lot of people are making these videos without owning those projects. Primarily, whatever projects that we have reviewed till now, we currently own those projects. So we are not making these videos with our, you know, Google searches or looking at certain videos from here and there. Videos that we are making are for projects that we completely own or projects that we have been using for last couple of months, couple of years. In this case, the AC I'm going to review is something that we purchased in the year 2022 uh, we've used it for one entire season and today i'm going to make that video uh, the video is based on our personal views again you may have your different preferences you may have your preferences with the brands and everything now before i go ahead and talk about this air conditioner uh, in case you haven't subscribed to our channel i request you to please subscribe to our channel if you like this video please hit the like button and share our video. The air conditioner that I'm going to talk about today is Samsung's wind-free air conditioner. We've purchased a two-ton version of this air conditioner. It is available in two versions, 1.5 and 2. Uh, looking at the room size, we purchased the two-ton version of this air conditioner the previous year. Uh, before purchasing, we had a couple of preferences because we had used Daikin 1.5 ton, Daikin cassette AC, We've also used the two-ton uh, Blue Star AC. We've used the Blue Ton 1.5 ton AC. My preferences were one: it has to be a smart AC, considering the market now. Almost every second AC is a smart AC, which means you should be able to control it via the voice commands through Amazon Alexa or Google Voice Assistant. Uh, secondly, the reason why we had the Daikin cassette AC in our room was, as I said, looking at the room size, we wanted an air conditioner to have equal air throw in all the directions which can only be possible using a cassette air conditioner. We use that cassette air conditioner for almost five years. We were 100% satisfied but because of the faulty PCBs that were damaged after completing five years and in place of spending that much amount on getting those repaired we thought of purchasing a new AC. So I have been using SmartThings, which is a Samsung platform for quite a few years. Before I started looking for any air conditioner, the first thing I searched was, is there any air conditioner which is SmartThings enabled? And to my surprise, the first result that we got was this air conditioner, which is Samsung's wind-free air conditioner. Uh, it is SmartThings enabled. It is Alexa voice controlled, so you can control it through voice commands, uh, SmartThings you can download in your phone and you can use the full potential of the air conditioner you don't even have to use a remote control though since while sleeping you obviously need to use the remote control it will be very troublesome to use your phone and then control the air conditioner uh, but yeah i'll tell you what the wing free technology is wing free technology is in a conventional air conditioner what happens is as soon as you turn on the air conditioner the front flap would open up and then you see the airflow or you can feel the airflow coming out of it the only problem with those air conditioners and especially a two-ton air conditioner is the airflow would be very strong even if you uh, reduce the fan speed the air conditioner will be so strong that you won't be able to sit right right in front of those air conditioners and you'll start feeling very chilly uh, especially with small kids in the house so we have Israel who used to get sick very often the last year because we had the cassette AC it had air throw in all four directions now uh, the problem as I said was if the 
kid is sitting in front of the air conditioner because the kid was feeling very hot. After a moment, the kid would start feeling a little chilly and would want to be covered or would want to sleep somewhere else. The best part about the Samsung Wing-Free Air Conditioner is it has 23,000 micro holes. I'm going to show you the air conditioner after talking about this. It has 23,000 micro holes. As soon as you press the Wing-Free button on your remote or from your SmartThings app, the front flap of the air conditioner would close. So even if you're standing right in front of your air conditioner, you won't feel that breeze, you won't feel that air coming out uh, from the air conditioner. However, it will then start coming out of those 23,000 micro holes, which will make you super comfortable. Even if you want to keep your air conditioner switched on throughout the night for like 9-10 hours at a stretch, all you need to do is you need to turn on this wing-free mode, and turn your uh, AC temperature to 23 or 24, which is like a quite ambient temperature. And then you can have a good night's sleep without being worried about turning it on, turning it off, or feeling very uncomfortable because of the room getting very chilly. So those are the best things that I liked about this air conditioner. Um, this air conditioner comes with the standard warranties that we see with any other air conditioner which typically means 10 years warranty on the compressor, five years warranty on the PCBs and two years standard warranty on the unit. It is 100% copper as compared to the previous versions of Samsung ACs. Uh, we are quite satisfied with this air conditioner because uh, as I said, wing-free is something that I've never heard of in any other brand. Uh, secondly, it has five cooling modes. So you can use this AC with the super efficient cooling mode, which is at uh, 120 percent of its capacity secondly it has the motion sensors uh, installed in this air conditioner so let's say your air conditioner is installed at the center of your room on the front wall and let's say if you're sitting at one corner or two three people are sitting at one corner of the room what this ac would do is it will sense where people are sitting and then would direct the airflow towards that direction Though you need to turn on that functionality from the remote, the remote is quite uh, tacky. Uh, you would really like this remote. It's kind of a new remote that the air conditioners would have seen. Uh, so it has anything and everything that you can think of from an air conditioner. It's a four star air condition, conditioner, not a five star air conditioner. I would like to make it clear here. However, the energy consumption while you're using it on the wind free mode is very very less so let me show you how this ac looks like the functionality and everything hey everyone so let's have a look at this air conditioner so this is what you see behind me is the wind free samsung's wind free air conditioner that we've installed in this room um, the room's dimension is somewhere around uh the length is somewhere around 18 feet 18 to 19 feet and it's like approximately 10 feet wide so as per the specifications, as per the guidance uh, that typically the company's manufacturing air conditioners provides is that any room size which is bigger than 150 square feet should have a two ton of uh, air conditioning and similarly it goes on. So considering our room size is bigger than 150 square feet, we've installed this one. Earlier we had the Daikin AC installed exactly at the same location, Daikin split AC I'm talking about which wasn't very effective, that was a 1.5 ton. Post that, we installed the cassette AC, which is here. After showing you the air conditioner here, I will show you where we had the cassette air conditioner. But because the PCB got conked off, we had to change the air conditioner. So as I said, this is the air conditioner, and if it is visible, we have the wind-free badging here that you can see. It's, it's a very great looking, amazing looking air conditioner. All these things that you see right behind me are the micro holes through which the air comes when you use or operate this air conditioner in the wind free mode. So let's begin. As I said, this is Alexa compatible. It is compatible with your smart things devices. It has a smart things badging here. I'm not sure if it is actually visible, but I will show it to you at a later stage. So I have this air conditioner remote control with me. Uh, I'm sure you would be able to see the remote is currently off, which means it is not on. 
AC is currently off, the display is off and I'll show you how convenient it is for you to switch on the AC without stepping down from your bed or couch or chair or whatever, wherever you are. So you have the air remote right in front of you. Alexa, switch on room air conditioner. So I've given the command. You must have heard the beep and see the display here. The AC has been turned on by Alexa. And we've set the temperature at 24 degrees, which typically means the AC will operate at 24 degrees. And I could feel the strong breeze coming. I'm sure you would be able to see whatever little hair I have left on my head still moving, okay, waving because of the airflow. Okay, so now this AC is operating in a normal mode at 100% efficiency because we've set the uh, temperature at 24 degrees. What I'm going to show you is how it operates in the wind free mode. So you see this button on your remote control which is uh, something written as wind free. It doesn't say it is wind free but these are the buttons that we use for wind free. It has a separate icon uh, if you are able to see this, this one. So as soon as I'll press this button, see, you notice the flap closing. See, the flap has completely closed now. The display is still on, okay? I'm standing in front of the same air conditioner. There's no movement of hair you would see, okay? So I'm not feeling that strong wind coming on me, on my face, on my head. The AC is still on. And if I wave my hand here, I could see that great cold breeze coming on my hand. So this wind-free mode helps you in good night sleep, specifically when you're sleeping with a child. So a child who is like four years old sleeps with us and we get a comfortable good night sleep because there's no strong wind coming out of the air conditioner because even if you set the temperature at 24, at a certain point of time in the middle of the night, you would start to feel that cold breeze, okay? Wherein if you turn off your air conditioner, you'll start feeling hot. If you'll keep it on, you'll have to, you know, get a blanket or something. So what we do is we turn on the wind-free mode. You can see the air conditioner is still on. We see the display here and this display is also on. And we turn on the uh, wind-free mode and we sleep peacefully. About this remote, operating this remote is extremely easy. There are a couple of buttons that you need to get accustomed to. It has an auto clean function. Uh, all the functions that you have on your remote control uh, can be operated out of this options button, which you see right here. Uh, I will be giving a complete page of tutorial on the remote. What all functions does the remote has? Uh, you might want to take a screenshot of this so that it will help you at a later stage. So, as I told you, this is the AC. The only drawback is the filters are here. You won't be able to, this panel doesn't open. Okay. You, if you need to clean the filter, you need to clean it from here. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, so in order to clean the uh, panel or clean the filter of this AC, you need to climb a bit higher. What I've done is I've climbed a bit higher right now. And here, if you can see, this is the filter. So filter is actually not accurately positioned and for you to clean it every week becomes a task because you, you'll have to use a ladder or a higher chair to get here and then clean. As compared to the traditional ACs that used to have the uh, filters here, all you need to do is you need to open this panel, take out the filter, clean it and install it again. So that's the only drawback I feel this air conditioner has. Uh, there's a small drawback again uh, which i would not uh, want to call it as a drawback but yeah you need to be very particular in terms of cleaning because these micro holes that you see here these are like 24 micro holes including here okay uh, what samson claims is the air comes out of these micro holes so i can feel it it is coming out of these holes uh, Indian homes, typically we face a lot of dust issues at our houses, specifically if I talk about our house, we stay in Jaipur, which is in Rajasthan. Uh, Rajasthan is kind of a desert area and we see a lot of dust storms and a lot of dust going on during, specifically during the summer seasons. So there, if you want to keep it clean, I use the Stanley blower as of now. Uh, so you have two options. One is either you vacuum it 
But if you vacuum it, you'll have to keep it pressed to it, which typically means your AC might get scratched. So I use a vacuum, which typically means our room goes into a mess after I clean this. But yeah, apart from that, all the other functions are super amazing. As I said, <clears throat> it is a four-star efficient air conditioner. It has a smart things uh, inbuilt. You can operate this AC from uh, even from uh, a different place when you're not actually at your home and you think that you know you might have left your air conditioner switched on you can operate it from your phone and turn it off let's say it's summers you're coming home from somewhere and you're feeling very hot you can turn on the ac like 10 minutes 15 minutes even before arriving home and that's that works on the geolocation as well you can set up that feature on your smart things uh, for, uh device on your smart things app and right before reaching your home even without doing anything the air conditioner would automatically turn on every time you arrive home. That is the other benefit. It has an auto clean function. What it does is it freezes the coil and everything and then it deep cleans it. Okay, Typically meaning all the dust, termite, everything, whatever is there, uh, the small bacteria and all, it cleans it automatically. As I said, Samsung isn't paying us to make this video, but we are so happy with this air conditioner we really thought of letting everybody know about this air conditioner and we would really recommend this air conditioner to people who have small kids in their house because small kids they generally get sick as soon as they you know they 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 are put right in front of the air conditioners that's what doctors recommended us that your kids shouldn't be right in front of the airflow of the air conditioner you need to make sure that you know the direct air isn't there on your kid so that he doesn't fall ill every now and then because as per the doctors here that was the main reason for our son getting very frequent cough and cold uh, ever since we've installed this one and touch wood ever since we've installed this one our son doesn't face uh, that frequent issues with cough and cold because of air conditioning uh, being on inside the room earlier when we had this uh, split or sorry the Cassette air conditioner, he used to face a lot of issues in terms of cough and cold. So, as I said, highly recommended with kids. Highly recommended if you are into smart things or you want your air conditioner to be Wi Fi enabled at least and Alexa enabled because Alexa will help you in terms of switching it on, switching it off. Uh, let's say, let me show, you, show it to you again. The display is still on. I will try and get this air conditioner switched off. I have the remote in front of you and I'll give the command. Alexa, switch off room air conditioner and you see there was a beep and the display went off. Okay, So Alexa just turned off the AC and that's what you can do even when you're in a different room uh, and you want to get the room air conditioner switched on. You can get this turned on, you're outside, give a command to Alexa, Alexa will do the thing. So yeah, highly recommended. I really hope you would have enjoyed this video in case you would have liked the video. Please do subscribe to our channel. In case you have any comments, any questions that you would want to ask us, please do comment me and I will try and respond to you within the first 24 hours and help you in the right decision making. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.